Jibble time tracking step by step how to track time. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with Jibble time tracking. So let's get into it. Now, Jibble is a online software that allows you to track time and make easy payrolls. And especially if you're someone that is working online with remote work not being very accessible, it's going to enable you a lot of things like having your time card calculator, having a time clock app, a timesheet app, a GPS time tracker, a attendance and paid upgrades that will enable you to customize your time tracking experience with Jibble. So if you are starting a business and all of your employees are working in different locations, then definitely you should check out a time tracking application in which you will be able to create easy payrolls without having to worry about uh, overpaying or underpaying any of your employees. And this will help you better manage your work and the amount of time people or effort that people are putting into your business. So to get started you're just going to click on start now at the top right over here and this will open up a new account so over here what you're going to do is you're going to choose if you already have an account or if you want to create a team so you're just going to click on create a team and then you can connect with your facebook google or apple id or just enter your full name and email i'm going to connect it with my gmail account so i'm just going to sign up via gmail over here it just simplifies your process and if you have all of your contacts or the people that you are working with added in your gmail then it's going to be a lot more easier for you to add them now once you do that you're just going to click on create account over here and now what you're going to do is add your organization name so let's say the organization name is jane slime and then you're just going to add this you're going to add the industry that you're working in let's say we are just working in leisure and entertainment and the organization size and then you're just going to add your phone number so i'm just going to do that over here and I'm just going to click on continue. Now, next up, what you're going to do is you're going to add the goals that you want for your time tracking experience. So if you want to monitor time and attendance, if you want to review hours for payroll, if you want to track time on projects, so you can select whatever applies to you. And then you're just going to click on continue. Now you're going to be uh, asked what kind of devices you're going to be using. We're going to continue with personal computers. And then you're going to add this. So we're just going to continue on over here. And it's a very simple and easy setup with Jibble. It allows you a simple way to track time across different platforms as well. And it does have other integrations and upgrades as well. So you can see over here, once you have done all of this, this is going to be your basic dashboard. So on your left, you have your navigation panel where you will see your basic dashboard. This is the dashboard that we are uh, on currently. And you have a daily dashboard, a weekly dashboard, and a monthly dashboard as well. So you can choose whichever one you want to view at the current time. I'm Below that, you have your timesheets as well. So in your timesheets, you're going to be able to monitor each individual team member's work with the amount of tracked hours that they have. Then you also have time off. So this is a premium feature by Jibble, and I will later on explain this in the video how this works. But next up, you also have reports. So you have a uh, good analytic report on all of your employees. You can get a tracked time report on how many hours who is spending. And then below that, you have your settings. So you have different people that you can add over here. So you can see i've only added myself but to add your employees you're just going to click on add members and you can send them an email invite you can send them an sms invite or you can don't send an invite just add them directly and what you're going to do is we're going to send an email invite and let's say we're going to add joe's and then you're just going to enter their email so i'm just going to enter my own email just to show you guys how to add people and then you're just going to click on save and you're going to click on confirm. And another way to add members is just by clicking on add members. And then you can click on invite via link. And then you can just copy this link and send it to anyone that needs to be invited. And then whenever they open the link, they will be invited onto the team. That is, however, a bit more dangerous if you're running, you know, a very professional business. You don't want your link to be copied and opened up by someone that wasn't meant to join. So if you have any issues with that, then you should definitely uh, opt for the email invites. That's a lot more safer. Now, below that, you also have your time tracking so in your time tracking you have web browsers you have different clock restrictions as well so you can choose to add flexible moderate and strict time restrictions so if facial recognition is enabled then if a unrecognized face is working via the laptop then they will not track the time the geo references are also enabled and lock time entries uh this will the moderate version allows them to allow uh 
time entry editing so maybe if someone enters six hours of work and they will be like oh maybe i did seven hours of work and then they can edit the time and this allows that but i would recommend that for most people it's better to allow time entry editing because it gives the atmosphere of the organization to be a lot more easier to navigate through and it makes it a lot more comfortable for your employees as well now uh, on the flexible version you have geofences disabled and you also have optional selfie capturing so if you don't really care who is working what job then you can add the flexible version of the time tracking um, below that you have your work schedule so you can add a scheduled time that your team will be working on and from here you will be able to add like okay work hours and then these will be weekly and these will be let's say our work hours are going to be 12 to this like this and then over here we're just going to click on save and now this is going to be like a default work hour that will be added to people whenever they have to like clock in this will be automatically added now below that you also have your time off so you can add a specific uh, holiday calendar as well i'm just going to skip that because you know each company does holidays differently your company's own kind of work schedule or your own event schedule now below that you also have activities and projects that you can add so this will enable you to add your projects over here and you can also track the progress on a project on this section so you can click on projects over here and then you're just going to add your projects and then you can track time with your project and then you have your organization details and then you have different integrations as well so you can integrate different uh, platforms like slack paychecks payroll panda and zapier to further optimize your time tracking experience now to track your own time what you're going to do is you can see on your on the top center right you have your clock in so you can just click on clock in and then you can enter your time then you can add a note as well or add a reminder as well and then you're just going to click on add and now you can see your time has begun tracking and now we're just going to be tracking time you know where you can be working on your laptop whatever it is and then you can click on switch activity and then you can add a different project if you're working on something else if you're switching your project and then below that you also have uh, a break section so you can click on start break and then you can begin your break and once your break is over you can click on end break and click on save and this will be one large time entry instead of breaking it down into two time entries and then you can just click on clock out click on save and then you can see over here we have our tracked hours you have this little time sheet this will give you a visual representation of how much you have worked and obviously this was just for a couple of seconds but once you have like a larger number then you will have the overtime hours the breaks the worked hours all of them will be available over here so Jibble is so simple and easy to use and the best part is that that Jibble is available for free so all of the basic features that I showed you guys are available for free but they also have premium versions starting at two dollars per month per user where you have unlimited work groups with custom restrictions you have two admins and five managers you have payroll timesheets with breaks and overtime calculations you have three kiosk instances you can add unlimited work schedules and location restrictions with eight geo references as well and then you also have the ultimate version starting at four dollars per month per user where you have unlimited locations and geofence restrictions no kiosk limitations and you also have unlimited ad admins and management so you can add like a lot of different managers and administrators and you also have client-based time tracking so if you have to send any of your payment summaries or anything uh, to another client to another business then you can do those on the ultimate version of Jibble as well and you also can create unlimited groups so you can create different fields like your marketing group your sales group any of that stuff you can add that all over here on the ultimate version of Jibble. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to track time via Jibble as well. If you have any questions regarding Jibble and time tracking, leave them in the comment box down below and I will make sure to answer them as soon as possible and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next video.